Hello guys, today we will learn how to install FortiGate Firewall version 7.2.3 on a VMware workstation. To download the FortiGate Firewall software image, you have to go to the FortiNet website. You need a FortiCloud account to download the software image. Account sign up is free. FortiNet website is already opened in front of me. Click on the buddy icon next to the support. This will take you to the FortiCloud logon page. Enter your email address and the password that you have used during the sign up process. Now click on support, click on VM images. Under product, select 40 gate. In my case, it is already selected. The next section is platform. Under platform, select VMware ESXi. Now on the right side, there are two images. The first image is for the upgrade from the previous version. The second one is for the new deployment of the 40 gate firewall on the VMware workstation or ESXi so click on download the second one the download has been started I will cancel it now because it's already downloaded on my machine now go to the downloads folder here is the OVF file that has been downloaded right click on it extract it Now the compressed file has been extracted. This uh, file we have to import it into the VMware. Now open the VMware workstation. Click on file. Open. Go to the downloads. Select all files. Now we have to select the 40 gate VM64, double click on it, accept the license agreement, click next, give this firewall a name, click import. This will import the 40 gate firewall into the VMware. Now you can see the firewall has 10 network interfaces we don't need all these 10 interfaces we just need the first four interfaces so delete the rest of the interfaces select the interface and click delete now we have four interfaces left the first interface which is in the bridge mode we will take this interface as our WAN interface. The second interface, we will use it as the second WAN connection. This will be used when we will do our SD-WAN labs. Select on NAT. The third interface belongs to our LAN interface. So we will click on LAN. Click on LAN segments. You can create a new one click add and then you can give it a name in my case I have already created a LAN segment so just select the LAN click OK under drop down menu select LAN now the fourth interface will be used for our DMZ so again we'll go to the LAN segment from the drop down menu select the DMZ
now you can see we have four interface the first one is bridge the first van connection second one is net which is the second van connection now the third interface is for our land segment where the client machines will be connected and the fourth segment is our dmz where you have the public servers of the corporate located now click ok power on the virtual machine Now the firewall has been installed. The default username is admin. And by default there is no password so press enter. You have to create a new password here. Confirm the password again. Now the password has been set. Now you are at the 40 gate CLI mode. Now enter the command to see the physical interfaces of the firewall. The command is get system interfaces physical. As you can see the port 1 is currently on the DHCP mode. And the IP address is from 192.168.0.117. We want a static IP address on our WAN interface. So we'll set the IP address here. So enter the following command config system interface. We are in the interface configuration mode. Type edit port 1. Press enter. Now set the mode here to static. Set the IP address. To access the firewall, we have to allow the access to the firewall. The command is set allow access HTTPS SSH and we'll add ping here to check the connectivity. Press enter. Type and to end the configuration. Now we'll see whether we can uh, ping the Google DNS server to check the connectivity is okay from the firewall. We'll say execute ping 8.8.8.8. It's unable to ping. We have to set the default gateway first on the firewall so that we can route the traffic to the internet. We also need the internet access to activate the 40 gate firewall trial license. To set the default route, we'll go to the configuration section. To set the default route, we have to go into the router mode, config router, static, enter. Now type edit 1, this is a sequence number of the default route that you are adding. Now type set device 
port 1 press enter now set the gateway as the IP address of your internet modem press end type end try to ping again the google dns servers now we can ping the google dns servers we'll also try to see whether we can do the name resolution So name resolution is also working. Now we have to go to the web browser. Enter the IP address of the WAN interface of the FortiGate firewall that you have just set. advance click on continue now we are at the logon prompt of the FortiGate firewall give the same username password that you have set during the initial configuration of the FortiGate firewall from the CLI Since we don't have the full license of the FortiGate firewall, we'll select the evaluation license. For evaluation license, we have to put the email address and the password. So I will use the same FortiCloud username and password. FortiGate firewall trial license will be registered under your same FortiCloud account. Type the email and type the password. Click OK. When the license will be applied, the device will reboot. So click OK. If you go to the VMware workstation, you will see the system is going down. Now the firewall has been restarted. We will refresh the page. Click on advance again. Click on continue. The firewall has been rebooted. Click the username and password again. Under FortiGate setup, click later. We'll configure the settings manually. Now the FortiGate firewall has been installed. As you can see, this is the evaluation VM license. If you click on it, It will give you further detail of the evaluation license where you have only one CPU, one virtual CPU and you have 2 GB allocated RAM. Click on dashboard again. We'll do the rest of the configuration in the next video. Till then, take care and bye bye.